So in this video, we're gonna go over all the vacuum lines, all the wiring, everything you need to know to get your Holly Sniper EFI set up to run on your 22R. So as far as vacuum lines, your vacuum lines, I use the same hard line that came factory. This upper one goes into the bottom of your vacuum advance on your distributor. The upper one goes into the lower one. And then as they get over here, your lower one will go in the first port and your upper one will go in this next port right in there. So the wiring's very easy. It just takes a little bit of knowledge on where you need to go with it. So let's figure this out. So like I said in the original video, hot to hot, ground to battery. You don't want to go off a junction box like this. That's a no-go. This pink wire needs to be 12 volt hot. So inside this splice of wires right here, that black and yellow right there, the one that it's hooked into. I just splice the pink one right into that. Run the rest of your harness up over this to your coil wire. So your coil wire, my truck had this plug right here that comes off the negative side of the coil. And I just hooked my yellow wire right into that. And that's how I'm running my RPMs. So you have to have the RPM for it to run. It will not run without the RPM because it's, it doesn't know when to inject fuel into the throttle bodies. On a 22R, I cut the crank signal wire. Don't need it. Don't need anything else connected to the distributor. You can run the Holly distributor and you know their electronics and all that. I don't, I just kept it factory with the Toyota. But let's look underneath and we'll see what's going on down there. So this blue wire right here is going to your fuel pump. My fuel pump is mounted right to the inside of my frame rail right here. Blue wire comes in, ground gets grounded real close to the, to the pump. So O2 sensor. I went right underneath my cross member. That's about all the wire that you get coming back. And it goes right in right there. Make sure you come in towards the top of the exhaust and you're going to need like a 90 degree drill to be able to drill that because you don't have enough room between your transfer cases and transmission to be able to get that in. And the O2 sensor, that is just plug and play. Plug in the connector, make sure you get in the exhaust. You can weld a bung in if you don't want the exhaust clamps on there. I figure once, once I'm ready to do exhaust or whatever on this truck, then I'll go through that whole thing. But as of right now, it's just with the clamps on there and it's doing just fine. So as far as fuel linkage goes, so all I did was build that bracket right there that bolts right to the top of that intake manifold. It comes up, holds the throttle cable right there, and then just a universal throttle cable end to Holly right there. And I did that because the factory cable that was on here was too long and too tight and I actually broke it when I originally had it hooked up. I had it originally routed with the factory cable, took it out wheeling, punched on the throttle and broke the damn cable. So I got on Amazon, I think it's like 20 bucks. I can put a link down there if you guys are interested in that, but I mean, they're easy to find. I think it's like a 24 inch cable. So as far as the display goes, when you turn your key on the first time, you're not gonna hear the fuel pump come on. You have to go through and go into your wizards right here. Click on that. Then you go through and select whatever Holly uh, kit that you got, probably a two barrel. I don't remember the exact, I think it's 2800, something like that. Once you've done all that, it's gonna tell you to cycle the key off. You cycle the key off, you cycle the key back on. You'll hear your, your fuel pump come on. And as soon as that happens, then you're ready to start the engine for the first time. So when you start the engine for the first time, make sure that all your fuel connections 
are good because before you turn the key, make sure that you go out and check underneath the hood and verify that you're not blowing fuel all over. That happened to me. That's why I'm saying it. Beyond that, I did have some hard start problems when I first put it on and I lowered the fuel and I'll show you guys how to do that. So I'll go through all the settings that I put on my truck and here we go. So if you click on system, it's gonna take you to this screen. Ignition setup, choose coil. My main rev limiter is set at 4,329. Engine setup, obviously four cylinder, engine displacements 144 and the cam, whether you're using like a race cam or street cam or whatever, make sure you choose that right in your wizard. But if it's just stock, choose stock. When you first set up your Holly Sniper, I said it dumps fuel. So it's gonna have the fuel injection set up somewhere. I don't even remember exactly what it was. It was extremely high, like 200 pounds an hour. So I'd knock that back to 56 pounds an hour and I have no problems with it. Fuel system pressure should be set at 60 and your system type, whether you got a Holly Super Sniper, four injector, two barrel or whatever, it's whatever system you're choosing. Do I like the system? I absolutely love the system. It's way better than a carburetor. It's better than propane just because I can get fuel anywhere I need to. Whereas propane, you're kind of limited, especially in small town USA. Where I live, out here in the middle of BFE, Nevada, I don't have propane out here. I'd have to drive 60 miles just to get propane. So the system, in my eyes, is good, but I will put Holly on blast right now. Your customer service is freaking terrible. Anybody on the forums will say that as well because your customer service, they do not help you. You are on your own. When you buy the system, they're pretty much just gonna beat around the bush and they're gonna tell you what you wanna hear and it's not gonna help you down the road. Maybe they might, but probably not. But I hope that helped you guys and I hope that answered all your wiring questions and set up questions, but we'll see you on the next one.